Hello and welcome to Tabletop Oddity and in today's video I will be showing you how to make a really simple and cheap uh, dice tray so you know you're playing your game you're rolling your dice it doesn't get cocked it's not you know flying off the table or whatever you and uh, some dice trays can be quite expensive I think I bought one for like 15 pound maybe or a green one like in a octagon or whatever it is this is uh, fairly simple you're only really going to need well you need two main ingredients you'll need stuff like glue but um, the first one I bought this uh, Hobbycraft, it's a deep frame box, it's black, it's 15 by 15 centimetres and it's 2 centimetres deep and the other thing I will be using will be black felt. Now you could do all kinds of different things if you wanted pictures and all that kind of stuff. However I've got a black, black box, black felt, I'll show you what we do. Obviously I'm going to have to open the box first and foremost. Now do be careful there is glass involved in this. So you turn it over, you just flip open the back, uh, the handles and what have you. It can be a little bit stiff, so I'm just using a knife here, but uh, do be careful of course. Just want to flip everything open and get this out. I'm fairly sure this is also designed to flip up, am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm, I was going to say I was fairly convinced. Yep, there we go, because this is what you could hang it on. Uh, it is still stuck, I'm not sure why. We just want to get that out, there we go. This is just the backing, we're not going to need this anymore. We do want to try and get the glass out, so we're going to take this middle bit out. It'll be different if you buy different photo frames, that kind of thing. Now, be careful with the glass. Obviously, if you smash it, it's sharp. Mine came in a lot of bubble wrap, so I'm going to put the glass in the bubble wrap and throw it away quite safely, I think. But then you can put everything back. So once you put it all together again, that's pretty much how your tray will look, but with black in the middle. So all we need to do is take everything back out. Uh, well, you don't technically need to put it together. I'm just showing you briefly. And uh, well, we can leave that the way it is. Our main goal is to get this stick on felt. I'll get rid of Patchy's her, the dog. Uh, get the stick on felt into the correct shape here. And I think what I will simply do is draw on it on the back uh, using the corners that they've already got. Uh, I think smaller is probably better than bigger here because otherwise you won't be able to get it in properly So I'm actually gonna have it a little bit smaller than it is um, But I think that will be fine And then obviously as I said, I'm gonna draw it around it. I can't properly get this neat But as I try and you want small is better here because otherwise you might have a bit of difficulty getting it back in the box so just so like so in fact, I'm actually going to make it even smaller because I'm just even smaller. Just a, just a tad, is it? I prefer it smaller rather than larger. Um, that's not a phrase that people have uttered very often. So then I'm going to cut that out. So let's do that. It's actually quite tricky to cut this with just these scissors. I might use my Stanley knife here. Is that possibly a bit easier to cut? A knife would have been also better. Is that a bit easier? I'm finding the felt quite difficult to cut. Let's have a look if we're actually going through that. We are going through that, so that's okay. I think the Stanley knife is the best option here. You can take the scissors to it maybe if you want, if you've got a decent pair. Mine appeared not to be working. Pretty much there we have it. Let's double check that we've fitted it. We've got a decent-ish size. Yeah, just on the smaller side, as I said, just so it'll, I can guarantee it'll go in the box. I think it's just on the smaller side, let me confirm. Yes, I, I, I would say so. There's a few edges where it's not, but should be okay. Can we get it in? Let's try and see if we could fit it in. Let's put the felt in the right place. The felt seems like it would go in on its own, so that's good at least. And then we'll put that on like this. Obviously, I am going to glue it on and stick it together. I just uh, wanted to show you that in theory. Let me bend that one back a little bit more. That would be the finished product. We'll have it glued down. I suppose technically you don't really need to glue it down because it's got the, it's like wedged in. Um, yeah. I'm going to use the uh, self-adhesive though and glue it down. 
What I might do is glue it whilst it's in here. Just so I can guarantee it fits. So if I take the self-adhesive back off, if I can. <clears throat> it's very, very, very sticky. It's quite hard to uh, get into a decent position to do what I was planning. My plan was to put it in there, but no, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna have to put it down flat, best we can. Oh, it's, it's, it's so sticky. I don't know if there's a way of not having it stick to you, but it's so goddamn sticky. I don't think I'll need glue here. Now what we're gonna have to do is, I'm gonna have to do this down because otherwise it's gonna stick, like everything's gonna stick to the bloody thing. We're gonna have to push it down onto it. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. I would like it to be flat, but... Uh, oh, you, you can wet your finger and it doesn't seem to glue to you all the same, so that's good. Then we're going to do this. Try and make sure you've got it all over. I'm not quite there. I'm going to have to rip that off. Didn't properly press down, so it was okay. Just want to make sure I've got all the corners in the correct area. It's a little bit to one side. Let's see how that looks when I put it in. Get rid of Patches her again. Will it fit? Does it fit? It fits nicely. Can you see the wood? No, you can't see the wood. That's why I did a little bit smaller because there is the rim and it's perfectly flat. As you can see, perfectly flat. There's a few bits on the um, on the felt itself. <laughs> In this house, that's always going to be the case. Bit of a madhouse. So then you just simply put these back to keep it nice and solid. And there we have it, we pretty much just turned our photo frame into a nice little dice tray. It's quite a decent sound. Got quite a decent bounce to it, nothing amazing. But it is gonna... You will get out of there if you like love them in. But to keep them vaguely in uh, place, yep, more than fine. Very cheap as well, I think approximately five pound maybe. So all in all, a nice little dice tray. Let's see. You can, if you just drop them, you can get them out, but I don't know why, who's dropping the dice. You, but if you roll them, you know, it's fine. You can pick any size you like, so. So that's it, very, very simple to do. I mean, all in all, it's taken me less than 15 minutes and I've been recording the video. Um, you might have to adopt the technique to whatever photo frame you get. If you follow the exact, if you buy the exact products that I got, then it'll work exactly the same. Do dispose of your glass safely. Uh, do make sure you can get it back all in together. Like if I would have had felt that was overhanging, would have been quite difficult to get it in. And uh, yeah, all in all, I said really quite cheap. I think maybe something like five pound. Um, yeah, fine. Uh, quite happy with it. Very nice aesthetic. You can pick whatever you want. So um, if you enjoyed that video, do like, subscribe. Everybody says that at the end of the videos. I don't know if that actually helps, but I feel weird not joining on the bandwagon. Um, yeah, other than that guys, do have a most beautiful day.